Hey guys, we got a bonus video for you today. It's gonna to be short and sweet because we found that there is a company hiring right now that I used to recommend a lot, but hasn't hired for these types of jobs in a long time. It's actually at Zapier.com. Zapier is like an automation services company. They basically let you integrate a bunch of web apps with each other and stuff like that. And this is a company I used to cover, you know, a few years ago, back when they used to have these, uh, like chat email support type jobs, but they've mostly been having engineering jobs, marketing and stuff like that, that really requires a lot of experience usually to apply. But they just started hiring for support jobs again, which is a big deal because these technical support specialist jobs, they don't require as much experience. They're right up the alley of a lot of people. A lot of people have some sort of support or customer facing experience that they can use to get a job like this. They pay well above average for this type of job, many companies pay, you know, maybe 40 to 50,000 a year. This pays up to 88,000 a year. And they have these all throughout the world. As you see, they cover EMEA, the Americas, APAC. So you're talking Asia Pacific, Europe, Middle East, Africa, and the Americas. That pretty much covers everybody. And also they have really good benefits here. So that's why I wanted to make this bonus video for you. Hopefully this will be uh, interesting to some of you, but as far as the benefits and perks you get here, you have healthcare, dental, vision, you have, some of these are going to vary depending on where you live, but retirement plans with employer match in some countries, others you do get a different type of benefit, which basically is like a company sponsored, like a, like a premium for pay. I think what they do is they kind of give you like some sort of allowance type of thing. And then work from almost anywhere, of course, as I showed you for the technical support jobs, they're hiring in just about every region of the world. You have flexible time off policies, which is usually around four to six weeks a year. I don't think they have really a cap on that. One annual company retreat to an awesome place, which is like a company vacation, 14 weeks of 100% fully paid leave for new parents anniversary reward programs, one, three, five, and 10 years, and then lifestyle spending accounts, spending account for job-related expenses, and they also have fertility and family planning support. So here's what one of these jobs looks like, and they have these, again, in all parts of the world. This is just one example. Again, they have many different listings for this specific one. Make sure you click on the one that covers where you live in the world. But what you're gonna get with these jobs is they tell you the compensation on the left here. It's very easy to miss this, but they tell you 58.6 to 88,000 US dollars a year plus equity plus a bonus. And then they give you that, that amount in Australia, New Zealand, because I'm on the APAC version of this, but obviously they may not have a breakdown for every single major currency in that region just because there's so many different currencies. But I usually go obviously by the US based and 88,000 a year for technical support is extremely high. So about you, as far as what they're looking for, you're highly skilled in technical customer support. They're looking for somebody with around two years in customer support experience. Even better if you have previous experience troubleshooting APIs, but that doesn't seem to be necessarily required. They also say you love working tickets. So now when we're talking tickets, tickets are typically email-based support. When you submit a support ticket, they usually get back to you via email. You're highly productive and you bring your A-game to the queue every day. You love solving problems. You're always looking for ways to level up your knowledge and skills. You like to keep things simple. You're persistent. You love doing things efficiently. You're empathetic to customers and can easily put yourself in their shoes. Here's another thing I really wanted to point out here. You love to write. They say everything at Zapier is done via written communication, or at least almost everything, both with customers and with teammates. So whoever you're basically talking to, either your coworkers or people who are customers, it's going to be mostly written-based communication, which I know a lot of you would love. It's another reason I like to recommend support jobs at this company. Uh, you're highly accountable to outcomes. You're a champion of change, and you like to set your own course. So what you will do, basically, of course, is customer support. They tell you via email or chat to ensure that they have the best experience. You'll do basically 60 plus emails a day or something along those lines. You'll help customers across both paid support and premier support teams, mean exceed individual performance metrics. So they'll have certain KPIs they want you to hit. Help your teammates by answering questions in Slack, share knowledge with lightning talks or Slack and Slack updates to help your team members learn new things. 
And then you may write some documentation as well. So this would be like FAQs and that kind of thing. So other than that, um, this is a job where I would definitely pounce on this as soon as possible. Again, this is a company that's pretty much fully remote and they hire, they're hire they hiring all over the world. So you have the Americas, you have you know Asia Pacific, the Americas East, America's West and America's East or EMEA. So all over the world. As far as what it's like to work at Zapier, they have a 3.2 out of five star ratings, 47% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, they have really good ratings for benefits, especially 4.5 out of five stars out of 41 ratings. So obviously very good there. Interview wise, they have a 3.1 out of five difficulty rating, which is about standard and then a 48% positive compared to 36% negative in terms of experience interviewing here, which is, I would say, a little bit above average. Hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. Let me know what you thought about this video by clicking the like button if this was specifically helpful. And don't forget to leave a comment if you wanna ask me a question or suggest something for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one.